in my video where I talked about black men must regain their leadership position in the household and in the black family, uh, Daisha Deja Vu said that yes, and I say that black women and I say black women regain because they're all trying to be men. She is absolutely correct. As much as a man needs to gain his masculinity and become the leaders of his household, understanding what being a true alpha male is, knowing that you also nurture as well as provide instruction, the black woman must regain her femininity. You cannot have two masculines in the household. It will not work. You see, many people think I wear this unk because I'm caught up into comedic science. Truth be told, I wear the unk because it represents the unification of the masculine and the feminine. It is not the Christian cross which has been bastardized by European culture because the Christian cross does not have the womb of the woman as part of it. It is only the masculine energy that it has. You see, this part represents the masculine energy, while the two on the side represents the ovaries and this represents the womb to which where when the seed of the man that provides the instruction is implanted in the womb with the egg, it develops into life. Life. This is a symbol of life, not death. You see, death is not only your Yeshua on the cross, but death is also when you take the womb out, the woman out, and you only have the two prongs, which means you are going to dominate the woman, subjugate the woman, then you take out the balance of energy. The law of gender does not work. Because in the law of gender, it takes both masculine and feminine to manifest, create anything. Now, we see this in life. Your religions are dogmatic. Your religions are um, masculine. Your religions subjugate women and tell women that they are not worthy of the prize. This is not true. You see, you have to balance your masculine and feminine energy, which is why the cross is only your masculine energy. It makes you misogynistic. Whereas when you understand the unk, you develop your own balance of your masculine and your feminine energy, knowing that you must nurture as well as provide instruction. But we cannot have masculine energy and masculine energy in the house, instructing, 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 and there is no nurturing. This is why the balance of things is such that the man may provide seed and may provide for the household, but the woman is the first teacher of the child which has been born through the union of the masculine and the feminine creation of life. So women must regain their femininity. It is not to be subjugated, but it is to be honored, to be respected, to be put on a pedestal and raised up. Therefore, ye is it not written that ye are gods can become true because the man alone is not God, nor is the woman God.